Now, second video on this, it had the pressure switch light come on, either low pressure or high pressure, and we've seen uh, it wasn't cooling, so I'm gonna bank on low. On the receiver, as the temperature, you can see a little ice in here. Let's see if I could zoom in there. Do you see that ice right there? Well, that's the level of the refrigerant. As you lower the pressure on uh, refrigerant, it gets cold. And so the level of refrigerant right here inside this receiver dryer that is improperly installed from the factory here, sideways, instead of standing up, the level of the refrigerant was just at the bottom. That means this was actually picking up a little vapor. It's getting flash vapor with very little liquid. So the level of refrigerant was at this angle right here where you see me make this mark right here. So that was the level of the refrigerant and the level of refrigerant in there was below the pickup point where it's supposed to only get electric uh, liquid refrigerant. And this is why you do not install receiver dryers that are not designed to be laying down. Now Jaguar and a few vehicle manufacturers have specially constructed receiver dryers that lay down horizontally and they have an inlet on one side and outside but the way they're designed inside they pick up the liquid refrigerant from the bottom side they have to be positioned in a certain direction and they were manufactured to lay down horizontally this was not manufactured to lay horizontally this should be vertically standing straight up but you can actually see how low the refrigerant level is in this one it's below the pickup tube when performing the recovery and dropping the pressure. See, I'm negative 18 right now. It didn't take long to pull out the refrigerant. And uh, that's it. So let's get on to video number three after I charge this out. But I just wanted to show you that little ice freeze up line showing you, indicating just like when you have a uh, tank of propane and you have the tank of propane on the barbecue and you're barbecuing and you notice sometimes, depending on ambient conditions, you'll develop a condensate line or a frost line and that tells you how full or how empty your propane because wherever the liquid refrigerant is on the propane tank when you're dropping the pressure by using the propane to do your barbecue it lowers the pressure on top of the liquid and the liquid starts boiling and evaporating lowering its pressure and that's why you get that frost line all right guys i'll see you